All right, guys. So today I wanted to show you how to make a Project Zomboid server. Um, I've actually already done this once in my recorder crash, so I have to go back there and do it again. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick rundown here. I'm going to use a DigitalOcean's droplet to run the server here through Linux. So um, to do that, you're going to want to start an account with DigitalOcean. I'll leave a uh, referral link in the description if you want to use that, but you certainly don't have to. Um, once we get here, uh, you're going to select to create a droplet. We're going to want to use Ubuntu. Make sure we have the latest LTS. That's 2204. Then we can select our different options here. Uh, so for a small server, we're probably good with just 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 80 gigabytes is, is plenty. 4 terabytes of transfer you don't have to worry about. If you're going to have a lot of mods, then you might want to go for a um, higher, higher memory here at 8 gigabytes. And also select the regular disk to lower that price a little bit here. It doesn't matter the difference between the two, really. Uh, SSD is going to be fine. So we can do either one of these, depending on how many mods and how many players. We'll go ahead and do the basic 4 gigabyte one for just a couple players and maybe a few mods. Password here. And then you'll select Create Droplet. Since I've already done that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the one that I already have created here. Next thing we're going to want to do once the droplet is done being installed, we're going to grab this IP address and we're going to head into Putty here. We're going to log in as root with the password that you just created. Which I have already apparently forgotten. There we go. First thing we're going to want to do is sudo apt git update. Okay, next thing we're going to do is add our user account for our server here. So we'll do zomboid server. Just adding the one on because like I said, I've already done this. So you don't have to do that. We're going to make a new password for our user. And we'll skip past all of that. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to make sure we've got super user root privileges for our new account. So we're going to type that in and our user account name, which for me was Zomboid Server 1. Now we're going to go ahead and log into our new account. And once we are logged into our new account here, we need to go ahead and get Steam CMD installed. So to do that, we're going to have to add the 32-bit architecture to our platform here. So we're going to run uh, this dpackage command. We're going to go ahead and type in our password. Except for we're going to do it correctly. And... Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and add a new repository here for the correct versions of the software. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and run our sudo apt update again here. And now finally, we can sudo apt get install steam cmd now that we have steam cmd installed we're going to go ahead and run it first time you run steam cmd it is going to update so just go ahead and let it run through that once you get to the terminal here we're going to go ahead and log in anonymous And now we can get to installing our Zomboid server. So to do that command. For me, this is going to be very quick because I've already done this. So for you, it might take a bit longer. This is also how you're going to update your server when it's out of date. You'll go back into Steam CMD and just run app update 380870 and then validate to make sure it checks the files. Done. We are going to quit. Okay, once it's installed, we're going to go to our Steam directory here. And 
and then to our project zomboid dedicated server. They were nice enough to put spaces in the directory name, so be sure to use your quotes there. And from here, we can finally start our server. So we are going to run the start server command here. Okay, so next we're going to run our start server command and name our server. So I'm going to name this one YouTube. And the first time we run it, it's going to have us make an admin account password. So this is how you'll log into the server as admin through Zomboid using admin and the password you see or create. Make sure you please do not use 1239 and make your own password there. Okay, once our server is done loading, we're going to go ahead and quit. Okay, once we have quit there, we're going to go all the way back to our home directory. Should now have a Zomboid folder with a capital Z. And here is our server information. So if we CD into server, we can then nano, spelled YouTube wrong, youtube.ne. And you can see all of our options for the server. So you can set to the server welcome message. Uh, if you want to have any kind of mods, you can put the mod loading ID here and then the workshop ID is further down. Um, change the maps, public description, and further down here is the password. So if you want to set a password, you can scroll down. There's the password you can set. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave this all as default. To change the default sandbox values you can do that here so here's all the settings you can go through once you're done control x it'll ask you if you want to save you hit y and then we are going to go back to our zomboid folder here And we'll want to do sudo apt get install screen. This will keep the server running in the background, even if we accidentally disconnect from this putty session here. Once we have screen installed, we'll go ahead and run it. All right, now before we start our server back up here with DigitalOcean, there's one more thing you need to fix. We have to find out our server's anchor ID here. So here's that. And we are going to delete it. Okay, once we get our anchor IP there, we're gonna type that in to make sure that we can see it. Okay, once we find it up here, we wanna also look for this. This is our net mask here. So we are going to delete that with IP ADDR, delete, our IP address, dev, and let's see. like that is going to be eat o operation not permitted so we're just going to throw sudo in front of it here okay now that that is deleted we can go back to starting our server back up and while we wait for that server to come up go ahead and get our game ready here We're going to do join. You're going to type your IP address over here, the, whatever you want to name the server, anything for the account username, anything for the account password. And we will wait for it to come on here.
and here we are on our, on our server. So if you guys found this helpful, I would definitely appreciate any like or comment on the video. We're going to do how you can add mods to your new server. So be sure to subscribe so you can see that when it comes out. All right, I've got an apocalypse to get back to. Thank you for watching.